So for the first time ever, Mulatto Sly actually has a script and is weird as f It was exactly five hours ago. And I'm like, really? Someone did this. Okay, so basically, let me give you a quick summary. So the Cooper cast was something created by me and Basop. So we always wanted to do a Sly Cooper podcast because we feel like there's a lot of stuff to talk about, but at the same time, there's no one to talk about that stuff. So we wanted just to make this podcast and hopefully in sometime in the future make a live stream about it and people give us like live comments and whatever. But then like we became so inconsistent with this that yeah, it's kind of become like a annual thing with a new episode coming up sooner or maybe it's already out the time I'm recording this video. By the way, guys, make sure you check out this month because this month i want to put a challenge to myself during the month of october i want to upload a single video each day now with this in mind i have two channels i wanted to upload on that one as well but that channel is just pokemon basically because that was literally my first channel so i will leave the details in the description and i will give more details on the upcoming videos because i don't want to keep rambling about it so basically this is skeletons was here and he make a Sly Cooper podcast, so Cooper cast episode 69. And he uses our logo as well, so this is going to be interesting. So let's just watch this, because I feel like this is going to be one of those videos. <laughs> like, I really don't know what to expect with this guy, literally. All right, so he's not alone here. So he's making this with Groovy Will and Chill. some way of syncing this up so i'm gonna say three two one and then we all clap all right three okay. two one, one. <laughs> i didn't yeah, hear we a single clap. clap from chill <laughs> all right all right three two one i didn't hear that at all you're death as fuck groovy you're death as fuck I, maybe okay. jesus fuck. okay we'll do it again okay three two, two one, one. Maybe I'm not here. Maybe I, I guess it's not. Here. I guess it's not loud enough for your mic. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, That's fine. We'll we'll be able to tell from this conversation whether we're synced up or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Hello. My name is Milanto Slight. Here is Best Sub, and here is Miharu. Say Hi, hello, I'm everyone. Bezba. <laughs> Miharu. Bezba. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh God. Seriously. So basically, this is a parody of us. Okay. Sounds funny enough. You want to continue on <laughs> so, uh, Scully made a really, really endearing video about how rumors are pretty lazy in, in the Sly community, just exploiting uh, the interest that Sly fans, the desperation of them to get a new game amidst creators like Miharu and CGE and Blue Knight, that they will make such lazy content about such an unproven idea. And uh, it's, it's funny because Miharu actually approached you about that video, about what you said about her in that video, and then uh, I think we continued the conversation instead of in the YouTube comments over Twitter. And uh, despite all my efforts of being polite, in fact, she she seemed like she kind of got it that like, oh yeah, you know what? We probably shouldn't be, you know, saying that like, oh, we have we finally have a reason to hope or, or a reason to believe it now. It, it seemed like she kind of got the idea, and then she just blocked us the next day anyway. <laughs> he just got really angry at us because we were. I have I have this comment up? It's from the it's from like the rumors video, and this happened like a. A few days after I uploaded it, and uh, I want to shout this comment out because I don't think a lot of people even knew about this comment. I think they just like watched it and then just left. Uh, update: Mihoro got mad and up uh, commented on my video, and then went on Twitter to call me an asshole and then calling for calling her out. My friend Groovy went to try to give her the benefit of the doubt, but then a couple of days later said that we gaslighted her into believing that she did something wrong, even though that she did, and then proceeds to block me and all of my friends. She it also got mad at people. Bullshit. I mean, no one blocks fucking chills. No one ever does that because, like, you're too nice. I guess. That's the same thing with, like, Angus. That's the same thing with Blue Knight. That's the same thing with every single person you meet in the community. I remember uh, she she tried to make it, like, like it was about her slight 2 opinion, too. She's like, she's like oh, they were gaslighting me. They were well, attacking gonna, me because I had an opinion. Well, I was going to get to that part. Uh, oh, okay. She, she also got mad that people hated her opinion on slight 2 being a bad game, which is true because her points suck ass. That wasn't the reason I put up the video. I put... I put her because it was a good example of how people will make this type of content and put no research into anything that they're talking about, but people will blindly look at it without any question. I legitimately didn't understand how she even got a platform, and even though that she keeps saying that she's not a part of the community, she still is. She was a part of making these terrible rumor videos and slandering Sucker Punch just, a, just for a couple of clicks. And I 
link a couple of threads on it. And then this was also like a couple of days later where I say, edit, I got blocked by everyone that I mentioned in this video. Funny enough, I didn't get blocked by Cooper Legacy, but that's a completely different story. Uh, Mihoro, <laughs> Blue Knight, and Canadian Guy, they all blocked me on Twitter because I, uh, because I called them out. Blue Knight felt slandered, even though that he said in his video to take, a, take it with a grain of salt where it came to Sucker Punch lying, but I guess that doesn't really matter. All his fans usually just did the you are clout chasing stick and even made and even him saying that I swore too much in the video and got offended. Yeah. And then I said, sorry, I thought I was talking to adults, not preach, not a pre-K class. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So to be honest, I'm not going to give like the normal reaction where I'm just watching the full thing for one hour and then just pausing and commenting over it. I feel like it's more professional to like watch a bit, paste the part that I see more interesting and then comment over it. Like, this is a one hour video and I simply just don't want to sit here for an entire hour and make everyone just literally pause or literally get annoyed because I'm pausing at some specific time because I already know how these reactions go. So literally, if I want to give my opinion here and please don't kill me for my own opinion, like, yeah, I kind of understand where they coming from but at the same time if she doesn't want to label herself like a like a Psy Cooper fan she doesn't need to label herself as a Psy Cooper fan as she, she said she didn't even complete the third game she didn't make it past a certain level and like I'm gonna be honest with your with you guys like I didn't complete Sly 4 because I think it was a complete pile of of doo-doo Especially the the part where you have the freaking controller and my controller was crap. My controller didn't even move, like, you know? But, yeah, like, guys, like, my... I don't know why is everyone blocking each other. Like, man, you can make as much fun of me as you want. You can make as much parodies as me, of me as you want. Like, I literally don't give a damn. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, I feel like sometimes people just block you because they are insecure. Or they're still, like, in YouTube, like, 2010. 2010 where there's like trolls i feel like there's no trolls or haters bro like they're all people having their own opinion like it's literally the real world what are you gonna do if you have like a, a hater or a troll in your work you're literally gonna block him in real life like no it just keeps gonna harass you you either fight back or you even ignore you don't kind of block him sure you can say blocking is kind of ignore but you get the point. Anyway, okay. I'm literally not going to pause anymore. So I'm just going to watch the whole thing. I'm going to give you guys the ones that I feel like are more important. And then I'm just going to give my whole feedback at the end. That's what I'm going to do. Because I literally don't want to make a one hour video. Because this is one video per day. And I don't want to make the first one like an hour. Eventually. So I finished watching. And yeah, I don't want to give here more or copy paste so yeah basically if you want to watch the full video the link is down below check out the boys the boys are here and yeah i just have basically three more things to say and yeah i'm gonna be honest here like guys sure um <laughs> okay how can i start this okay let me start by the one that i fell offense offended because i feel like everyone nowadays gets offended easily <laughs> and yeah what i'm gonna say is with you guys, what I don't understand is I never can tell if you guys are joking or if you guys are talking serious. That's what I don't understand. Like, most of the time, I feel like you're just joking, but at the same time, I feel like you're literally being mean. <laughs> and, like, I don't really mind, and I feel like it's funny. I f really think it's hilarious, to be honest. And the only thing that I said I was feeling offended, and it's not really offending, it's just basically I was, like, with a frowny face, is that, like, you guys made this joke saying that oh we copied the cooper cast and me and basab are just gonna be like oh delete it delete it delete it like bro no that's not really the case like the main reason me and basab started the cooper cast was just a way of keeping the the game flowing like keeping the conversation going about the games and like if you're making a cooper cast that's excellent for us because you're basically just promoting the name anyway and that's the real thing we just want to promote the name <laughs> like so the fact that you're saying that we're gonna get offended that and we're gonna reach the point of deleting the stuff like man i'm never gonna make you delete a stuff like literally you can make a soundtrack a diss track like you can make a whole criticism about me and i'm never gonna really say delete it 
I might ignore it, but I'm never gonna say delete it. That's the thing, like, that's the only thing that I felt a bit heartbroken, honestly. Not offended, I'm joking, I, I'm not offended by that. I just felt a bit heartbroken that you think so... I don't know if you were joking, but I feel like... Yeah, n never mind, never mind. You're good, you're good, man, you're all good. I like your animations, they're good. Back, nigga. Fight back, nigga. The part of Savo, I'm gonna be honest with, with you guys, I never really understood the photo. <laughs> I feel like I'm literally Spider-Man in the movie, that like, he didn't know what was going on, but he was a part of it. And that's what I'm feeling right now, because like, I really didn't get this photo. And then I'm watching this whole podcast, which is an hour long, and you guys, I kind of understand what's going on, because you guys literally just divide it. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Someone that never watched Sable before, I kind of feel that you're portraying him as this character. But at the same time, I don't think he's the character you're describing him to be. But I'm going to leave it at that, so I'm not even going to touch anymore on that bit. But still... The only thing I kind of didn't like, honestly, is the fact that your video is like an hour long and you're not really discussing Sly Cooper. <laughs> That's the only thing I didn't like. You made all the jokes about the Fanta Sly Cooper and the Court of Thieves. And like, I'm going to be honest. You made all the jokes about the Fanta Sly Cooper and the Court of Thieves. <laughs> and yet no one really knows what's going on with that project. We have a lot of interviews and a lot of fun conversations with him. And I will be honest, the thing is coming on along. The thing is really dope. Like, he has the, all the story planned out. And I'm going to give you guys here a leak if the video is not out yet. He already has the, the voice actors. He already has the voice actors and he's super happy with the voice actors. And yeah, I'm going to leak here another thing, which is a tree. <laughs> leak a tree so make whatever you want of that and yeah i'm actually gonna agree with the thing you guys said regarding the the fan base it is stupid and i feel it's stupid and that's the main reason i stopped making like these theory videos and these speculation videos because i really remember when i first started my channel i was super hyped it's like cooper movie we have a movie oh my god let's discuss the movie oh my god who are the villains of the movie oh my god what's the story of the movie oh my god are we gonna get a game out of the movie i literally made a whole bunch of videos just about this single topic about the movie and yet we didn't get jack <laughs> and i think it's hilarious i really think it's f hilarious <laughs> and yeah that's why if you look at my channel recently i'm literally just making gameplay that's the only thing i feel motivated to do like gameplay the main reason i'm making this video right now is because i made this excuse of make one video a day <laughs> that's the reason Otherwise, normally, I kind of ignore this type of stuff. Like, I was inactive for a month, for a year, before you make that comment. Yes, I was inactive for a year. But I was always on Twitter. Like, if you make a message, if you text me, if you tag me, like, I always respond, I always like, I always retweet stuff. So I'm still around anyway. But, yeah. Fanta Sly Cooper is coming along. Fanta Sly Cooper is coming along. That was basically I'm on my opinion. I feel like I'm a... Pokemon OU trainer. Overused. My opinion is super overused. My opinion is super balanced. I am just straight in the middle. I f Spider-Man in that movie. I don't know what's going on, but I'm there. 